Yeah. Hi. So, last year we were out here and we came across this really awesome memorial tribute. And we came back again today to check it out to see, you know, how many people actually found it. It's out here in the middle of nowhere. And I can't believe how many people have come out here and either stumbled across it or knew about it and came here on purpose to find it. But it's beautiful. I mean, the wind is blowing. You can hear the chimes. It's so peaceful. And I just can't even... I can't even describe how amazing it is out here and it just really makes you stop and think about how lucky we are to be, you know, to be here and to have all these veterans who take care of us, people who we don't know and they don't know us, but it's really meaningful. And uh, we wanted to just see, you know, what, what has taken place over the last year and this book has all these notes from all these people who came out here. I'll show you. I'll just read a couple that were really neat. On January 22nd, the Flanagan family and the Ewing family say such an inspiration brought the children and grandchildren to see the chimes. The postcards will be shared in school. Thank you. So they are, you know, sharing the postcards and spreading the word, and it seems like people are really, really touched by this. And there's a couple other things in here, some shotgun shells and some bullet casings that I don't really want to touch. <laughs> Some dog tags. Some other coins and and uh, looks like maybe some pesos here. Some other quarters. <laughs> so it looks like there's a uh, you know, when people come out here, they really have, you know, have a chance to take a moment and share their thoughts and share their appreciation with the veterans. And it's just really cool. And you can just really feel the love out here. And, you know, if you don't get a chance to ever come out here yourself, you know, I hope you know that it's here. And there's a lot of love here. Thank you. Signing